So have you ever twisted your ankle or pulled a muscle and someone has said, quick, put some ice on it? Well, it's practically a reflex to reach for that bag of frozen peas whenever we injure ourselves. But is this chilli remedy really the best thing that we should be doing? Let's find out. Hey guys, Khalid here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So there's various acronyms that you've probably heard that tell us how to manage an injury. For example, there's RICE, Rest, Ice, Compression, Elevation. This got developed into PRICE, Protection, Rest, Ice, Compression, Elevation. And then we've had POLICE, Protection, Optimal Loading, Ice, Compression, Elevation. Now, one of the key terms that is seen in all of these is ice, but the use of ice has actually been questioned when it comes to the research. So first of all, we've got a systematic review from Miranda et al in 2021, which is looking at cryotherapy as a whole, which of course ice is a part of. And we've got the clinical guideline for ankle sprains by Verberg et al from 2018. And in these papers, there are two key conclusions that stand out. First of all, despite short-term analgesia effects, cryotherapy could disrupt the inflammation process, angiogenesis and revascularization, hindering tissue healing. The second, there are no indications that the isolated use of ice can increase function as well as decrease swelling and pain at rest among individuals who have sustained an ankle injury. So the suggestion is that ice reduces the amount of swelling and inflammation at a joint when we apply it following an injury. But further research from Kvissien et al. actually suggests that there's insufficient evidence that this actually takes place when it comes to humans. Okay, so instead, what should we use for our day-to-day -day injury management strategies? Well, interestingly, in 2019, a new protocol was formed, which is peace and love. Peace suggests the steps we should take immediately after an injury, and love suggests the things that we should do in subsequent injury management. And guess what? There was no place for ice at all in peace or love. So when it comes to peace, P stands for protect, avoiding the activities and movements that can increase pain for the first few days after the injury. E stands for elevate, elevate the injured limb higher than the heart as often as possible. A stands for avoid anti-inflammatories, avoiding this medication as they can reduce the body's natural healing processes. C stands for compress, using compression with bandages or tape to reduce swelling. And E stands for educate, where patients should understand that an active approach to recovery involving movement and exercises is more effective than passive approaches like rest. And in love, the L stands for load, an active approach to recovery with pain-free loading and movement. O stands for optimism, a positive mindset can influence recovery outcomes. V, vascularization. Cardiovascular activities that increase blood flow to the injured area can help with the healing process. And E, exercise. Promote strength, flexibility and balance to aid recovery and prevent future injury. As we said, there's no place for ice in this protocol and actually the A of peace actually suggests avoid icing in some sources. But hey, there is an interesting counter-argument to all this because we still see ice being used all the time in a sporting environment. Whether it be football, netball or something like rugby, we see ice being applied immediately on the pitch and on the sidelines for these injured players. Now there's an interesting line in the research by Kvissien et al which we mentioned earlier and I'll read it to you. Cryotherapy can and should be implemented as a recovery modality when there is inadequate time for recovery to occur naturally and when subsequent performance could be impaired. Now this might suggest that whilst it may not help with swelling, sometimes ice can be useful for immediate pain, perhaps in the instance of football for example, that can be applied whilst the player is still on the pitch that might help them get up and carry on to improve their performance. So there you go guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please support us by smashing that like button and subscribe to the channel for all our best updates. And of course, we've got loads more resources on our Instagram channel, at Clinical Physio, and on our website, clinicalphysio.com. My name's Khalid, thank you so much for watching. See you soon, here on Clinical Physio.